We are super excited about offering an ALA Euclid help desk um, where Coach Jeremiah and Miss Heather and Miss Sonia and Mrs. Sparks will be there throughout the day starting on Monday to answer any questions that you have about technology or Canvas or just want to say hi. Um, so we're excited about that. And then I'll hand it over to Miss Dory. Okay, so we just wanted to kind of share some norms and guidelines. These are the Zoom norms that we use um, as we hold our Zoom meetings with students. So we thought it would be helpful to just kind of share those with you now so you can be prepared. Um, but the main one that we're following um, today is making sure that we use the chat for questions like Ms. Gabby said, and then also um, just um, limiting, um, or sorry, making sure your microphone is muted. Um, so now uh, we're going to just kind of introduce each of us. So Ms. Ankita or Ms. Wong. Hey, Village Bee families. My name is Ankita Swali and I go by Ms. Swali for the kids. Um, I am the kinder teacher in Village Bee and I'm really very excited to welcome our littlest learners. And um, whatever be the format of learning, I want to make sure and I will give it my best to make sure that this year counts as a great experience for the kids. Um, I've been teaching for 12 years and this will be my third year at ALA. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Claire. My name is Claire Bernacki. I went to Texas A&M for my undergrad and I'm doing my um, master's in teaching at Trinity. So I'm an intern this year at ALA and I'm so excited. Um, I'll be in kindergarten with Miss Swally too. So excited to meet all of you. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Miss Hart. I am so excited to see you all. This year I'll be teaching first grade you may recognize me because last year I was in Village C and I opened up car doors in the afternoon. So it is so good to see you all. Thanks for coming. Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Toland. Last year was my first year at Euclid um, and I'm so excited to be back in second and third grade this year. I see lots of familiar faces. I got to know all the Village B kids last year. Um, for parents, this is my 28th year of teaching. I'm like the oldest person in the whole school. So just call me Methuselah. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to meeting with all of you in our one-on-ones in a couple of days. Hi, I'm Miss Tori. Um, this is my fifth year teaching in Village B and my seventh year teaching. Um, I graduated and did the MAT program from Trinity. Um, and I'm just super excited to see everyone again and meet some new faces. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a good year. Hi, um, I'm Katrina Lieberman and I go by Miss Katrina. I will be in second and third grade with Miss Tori and Miss Toland. I am extremely excited. I've been, I went to Trinity University for my undergrad as well and just graduated in May. So I'm very, very excited to be here and have been placed here. All right, hi, um, this is Miss Allison again. I did want to share an update on how you might have noticed that we had two of our teachers introduce themselves as a kinder teacher and a first grade teacher. When we were thinking critically about um, all the shifts that have happened in education recently and how best to support our incoming kindergarten students, we have made a decision this year that we're going to have a kindergarten homeroom, which is Miss Swally, and then a first grade homeroom. So that will be Miss Hart. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, we think it'll be a better, an easier transition for those incoming kindergartners. They'll have kind of more familiar faces in the room. Our pre-K teachers are also going to work with the kindergarten teachers pretty closely to make sure that that transition happens um, smoothly for our students. We're also allows the first grade teachers to really think critically about the curriculum that they wanna do at the beginning of the year and kind of compact some of the skills from the end of the year and the beginning of the year. The most critical ones to make sure that, um, that all of our students are ready. 
We want you to know, though, that we are fully committed to the multi-age model. We're very fully committed to all kids getting exactly what they need. So this shift in homeroom doesn't mean a shift away from our priorities or how we learn. The students will all have village experiences um, throughout the school day in both remote and in person. And the kinder and first grade teachers will also be meeting regularly and planning and will continue just as we always have um, to have a strong commitment to making sure that each child is learning um, kind of exactly what they're ready to learn next. Um, and so kind of going off of that, uh, we thought it would be helpful to go over some of the daily learning activities that students will see. Um, and then just kind of go over the term. We've been learning a lot about synchronous versus asynchronous learning. So synchronous learning, when you hear that, that's typically when we're meeting directly with students um, and it's often on Zoom. Whereas asynchronous is more student-directed learning. Um, it won't always be on Zoom. So just kind of knowing those things. So we're still planning on having morning meetings every day. Those will be on Zoom. They'll be in homerooms and it gives us a chance to check in on the mood meter, um, do check-ins with students and build community. Um, and we'll have more information sessions on Ruler if that's something that's new to you, but that's our social emotional um, curriculum that we use. Um, we also will have Zoom lessons. So those will be synchronous. That's a chance for us to have either whole group mini lessons, um, small groups and one-on-ones, and those will be on Zoom. Um, there will also be independent learning activities. So those will be asynchronous. So that's student directed. So those might be look like choice boards. It could be a checklist. Um, sometimes it will be on our learning apps like Canvas and Seesaw, um, but other times it will be away from the screen, um, either doing something outside or um, reading a book. Um, so just know that there will be some screen free activities as well. Um, and then we're still very committed to PBL. Those will be most likely synchronous lessons. Um, so on Zoom, you can expect there to be many lessons. Um, it's still gonna be project driven. So there might sometimes be check-ins with small groups. Um, and we're hoping to start those um, a little bit further into the school year so we can really build that community first. Um, and then we also are hoping to um, build in some social and um, physical activity too. So some grade levels um, have created choice boards for recess time. Um, we're also looking at having some social recess. So like that could be Go Noodles on Zoom. So just know that recess is also something your student will have. Um, this is the kindergarten schedule for this year. Um, as you can see, it's broken down from uh, into Monday through Thursday schedule and then a separate Friday schedule. Um, the, the synchronous pieces are highlighted in the schedule and they do say Zoom. So those are the times that the kids will log in online for a whole class lesson. We'll start the day with a morning meeting, a mood meter check-in and all those ruler pieces. Um, after the morning meeting, the kids will have a break from the screen and they can, it'll be a brain break. We'll give some ideas for the stretch and the brain breaks when they leave. Uh, we'll come back together as a whole class for a reading lesson every morning. Um, after the reading lesson, we'll group into one-on-ones for the first few weeks so we can build that relationship with the kids and get to know them. Um, the teachers will, the kinder teachers will reach out families for a one-on-one -on -one sign up and you can sign up for the time that's most convenient and suits your schedule during the day. Um, after that, we'll go into lunch. There will be an optional lunch bunch for the kids on Tuesday and Thursday and a recess choice activities for, on Mondays and Wednesdays. After lunch, we'll come back to a math mini lesson on Zoom, which will be a whole class. And then we'll continue with the one-on-one -on -one check-ins for math lessons in the afternoon too, which will also be a sign up. Um, and then we'll end the day with specials. And Village B special schedule is from 1.30 to two every day in the afternoon. 
Um, over here, the Friday schedule is similar to Monday through Thursday. Um, the morning is very similar. The only change is the afternoon. If you see the 12 to one block on Friday afternoons, kids will participate in a fun Friday with the village teachers, which will give them an opportunity to get to know all the teachers and other kids in village and help them build that village community. So that's for a kinder schedule. Thank you. So this is what our first grade team is thinking a typical day of learning will look like for your first grader. So first, we will all log on to Zoom and have our class morning meeting. This will be our time to check in with each other, build community, and talk about our day. Then we will have a 10-minute brain break. So this may look like putting on a Go Noodle video or some music and really giving students some time to move around and take care of any needs. At 10, we will come back together for our reading mini lesson. This is where we will be learning together about a specific reading skill or concept, just like we would if we were physically in class together. Next, students will go into their own breakout rooms and have time to work independently on an activity. So what this means is that Zoom will be running in the background, but there will be no one on the other end of the video. We're trying this because we really want to try to foster independence while limiting the number of times students need to log on and off of Zoom. And there's an ask for help button in the breakout rooms. So if they are working and have a question or need help, they can open Zoom back up, press that button, and I'll be able to pull them into the main room for us to work together on their activity or answer any questions. Afterwards, we'll do the same for math. And at the end of our Zoom, we will all come together for our PBL. Our first PBL will be about building community. So I really see this as like a fun time for all of us to get to know each other and have some fun. I do wanna stress that if this looks overwhelming right now, please know we are going to start small and really work up to these times and there will be breaks often. We have some built-in breaks as you can see, but also the second that I notice students are having trouble focusing or listening or really getting that zoomed out look, as I like to call it, um, we will take a break right away. So after that, we will have lunch and we have created some fun recess options for students to get up and get moving. In the afternoon, we'll have rotating small groups to work for students to work on what they need. Additionally, I'll be meeting with each student one-on-one -on -one once a week to check in and see how things are going on a more individual basis. Um, of course, we'll have our fun specials time that our specials teachers will be talking about in a little bit. Fridays are a little bit different. We still have our morning meeting and PBL time, but then students will have some time to catch up on anything they need, as well as some independent activities. Excitingly, we will still have our genius time together. That was always my favorite time of the week, where we'll be able to do some creative and interesting things where we can explore what individual students are really interested in. And again, I just want to make clear and reiterate, I do not envision any day where students are listening or looking at their iPads or sitting for this entire morning block. That will not happen. The idea here is that Zoom is kind of like our open window to each other where students are working independently, but I'm just a click away for any help that they may need. I know that was a lot of information very fast. So just know we'll start slow and adjust as we need to. And we can also talk about these things in our one-on-one -on -one meetings. Thanks. Okay, so second and third grade is still banded together. So if you're a second grader or a third grader, this is going to be your schedule with either Ms. Tori or I. We'll have our whole class online meeting on Zoom, just like we did last spring at 9.30. And we're gonna go straight into a little mini lesson for the day, whether that's PBL or reading or anything else. Then we're gonna take a brain break because everyone needs a brain break after that much Zoom. Then we're gonna go into small groups online and we'll be setting appointments group uh, uh, times with you and we're gonna teach kids how to set an alarm maybe on their iPad or somewhere in their house so they remember to come back to their small group. So we're gonna work on that a lot for the first couple of weeks. We have some small groups in the morning. We have a lunch break for everybody to get some brain fuel in there. We have some small groups finishing up in the afternoon. At 1.30, we have specials with all the other Village B kids. And um, that's a little bit different from Ms. Tori's in my class. I think I'm asynchronous on Monday and she's asynchronous on Tuesday. But other than that, it's all pretty much the same. And we will be going over that independent schedule with you in our one-on-ones. 
Um, we're going to finish up the day at two o'clock with an online PBL lesson. And that's also a chance for us to sort of gather back together and check in with each other and see how things are going and what do we need to work on for tomorrow. So we didn't do that in the spring. And I think that's going to be an awesome way to stay in touch that two o'clock meeting at the end of the day. Friday is a little bit different. We'll have the online meeting as we always do, but instead of the small groups, we'll do one-on-one -on -one appointments with the teacher. That will be as needed. We will schedule that with uh, your kids on Fridays. Um, and then uh, after the lunch break, we get to have wonder courses. And Village B kind of experimented with this in May where we went to different uh, courses. I think we did paper airplanes and music and things like that. I see some nods, good, y'all remember that. So we're gonna be doing that from 12 to one on Fridays. We might make that wonder courses. We might include some genius time in there. We're super excited about that fun time together. And then after one o'clock on Fridays, you do not have specials, but you, that's your chance to complete all your work and make sure that you are working and getting all of your assignments done uh, before the end of the week and before we come back on Monday. So if you have any questions about this schedule, you might wanna jot them down now so you can talk to Ms. Tori and I about them when we um, Zoom with you later in the week and talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so like was mentioned in all those schedules, uh, there will be um, specials for, on Mondays through Thursdays from 1.30 to 2. So I can talk about specials. There we go. Um, so hi, I'm Coach Birmingham. I am one of the special teams members. I teach PE and outdoor ed, and we are very excited to be coming back to school as a community and very excited to see all of our students. Each week you will have a PE course, a health, sorry, a PE course, a music course, and an art course that is going to be a 30 minute in-person Zoom meeting so that we're able to see and connect with all of our students. And those times will be uh, dictated by the class schedules that y'all just saw. Those will be available for you later on. Um, but uh, for PE, we will have our 30 minute session and then that'll be your specials for the day. And then the next day you will have another specials like music or art. Ms. Heather, do you wanna talk a little bit about music? I'm just super excited to get started. I've got some stuff in the works for music. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'm excited to explore some new stuff with everybody and um, to get to see what you guys create and the music we make together. Um, our, I will be sending home with Kinder and Firsters. Of some things you uh, my live zoom lessons will tie into that kit um, and uh, some and I'm sending some stuff home too with second and third it's just a little bit different so um, during pickup on Friday um, there'll be the chance to pick up a kit that kit will also be important for our first few weeks of PE as well as that kit is, is going to involve music and art and PE. So make sure that you're keeping track of those supplies uh, because we're going to be referencing those in our lessons. Miss Sonia, are you still here? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Miss Sonia, and I am so excited to get back to making art with everyone. And I'm really excited that we're going to have Zoom sessions each week. And I went ahead and put together a little. Um, art kit so you will be getting some art supplies you will probably need to reuse your sketchbook from last year or you can get a new one um, i'll try to put in some paper for kinder students who may not have a sketchbook but i'm really excited to see everyone on zoom So not only is Ms. Heather our wonderful oh. music teacher, she's also our wonderful librarian. And so I know she's coming back to talk a little bit about library. Oh, there you are. So um, live, for live, you can request library picked up this Friday when you do your material pickup. Um, uh, 
return any books your student has checked out. Remember, there's no late fees. Um, you can reserve books and desk using class classes Wednesday. However, today there's something happening where it's not allowing um, very many holds for some reason. Uh, if you run into that area, you can just email me the books that the kids have, um, and I will put that to the side. I, I will add them in for my life. And um, the library have not been handled in two months. Um, I will use gloves and masks to bundle requested books with supplies to be picked up on the 14th. Books that are returned will not be available for checkout for two weeks. They're going to live in Queen. Uh, will be later library book pickups in the future. Also, the district has um, a fairly extensive ebook library that you can also check out. Um, and there's my email address right there. And that's everything about library books. All right, I'll jump in and do the super fun attendance slide. Um, I don't know about you guys, alligators, but hearing all the teachers sharing what you will be doing those first few weeks of school, and the special teachers that are going to get to do those live sessions, I am so excited. And I just want to say I'm so amazed by how hard teachers have been working to put together these schedules and these great experiences for kids. So in that, we want kids to be there with us every day and do all the assignments and attend all the Zooms. We know that won't always be possible and we'll always be flexible and we'll be recording live sessions for them to be able to see those later. Um, there is the state attendance piece and the way the state is going to count students present is either by um, turning in work in the Canvas platform, attending a Zoom. So today, for example, you guys would all be counted present um, or participating in the Canvas piece. So just once a day, it already counts them present. However, we wanna make sure we send the message at ALA Euclid that we want them there for everything. And we want them to complete all of the assignments because that's what's gonna keep them learning and growing. Hello everyone, I am Miss Tiffany, the Euclid School Counselor. I am so happy to see you, Village B. My role is social emotional support um, through guidance lessons, small group and one-on-one -on -one counseling, even lunch bunches. Also, I am aligned with our awesome social emotional program that we use as a campus ruler through Yale University. Reasons to see me is if you're worried about something, want help making choices, having trouble, need help focusing, and the list goes on. And we can go to the next slide. Also, I have a awesome website that I'll be sharing with you all through the teachers' um, Canvas pages and through their village websites. I'm starting this school year a virtual calming corner. On this page, you'll see things from all types of mindfulness activities, yoga activities that you can do by yourself, with your family, um, your teachers can do with you. It's also going to be visual relaxation like Legos, board games, cooking and baking, sounds and music, um, mental health resources, things, apps that you can, calming apps you can download on your electronic devices, some really excellent fun resources. So please check out this website, give it time to load, and you utilize this for your brain breaks and just to have some relaxing time at home, whether you're at home or in person. Thank you. Hi, ALA families. My name is Ms. Garcia, and I'm your family and community engagement specialist. Um, there are a lot of different questions that I can help you um, figure out if you have anything going on at school. So if you have questions on when there's different Zooms that are happening for your village or across Euclid, I can help you out with that. I can also help you with the ALA PTSA volunteer opportunities on campus. So unfortunately this year, we will not be having in-person volunteer opportunities, but there are some that are going to be virtual. And if you're interested, you're more than welcome to email me. I can also help you get uniforms from the community, or if you need assistance with school supplies, we can work something out to make sure that your student is fully supported. Along with Ms. Heather, I can also help you out with concerns about district issued devices. If for whatever reason, your iPad stops working properly, or if you need assistance with trying to figure out how to get internet access for your student, I am your person. And lastly, we also have the SISD Family Power Hour series. 
Um, this is a schedule that is sent out at the beginning of each nine weeks, and they cover a variety of topics that might be of use to your family. So if you're interested about learning about where those are, then you can reach out to me, and my email is listed right there at the bottom. Lastly, I am the face specialist for both Euclid and Fox Tech, so if you have some older gators and you have questions about what's going on at Fox Tech, you can also reach out to me. All right, so you maybe have heard all this information and go, what about day one? So let's start off with day one and how you're going to meet us on our first day of remote learning, which is a week from today at 9.30. Um, this is how we're gonna do it this year. Last year, we sent out links on Seesaw to Zooms and they had to change every week. And one of the feed, some of the feedback we got from everybody was that there was just too many platforms. There were too many things to log on to. So we have tried to simplify that. You need to log on to single sign-on, which is class link. And for those of you going, oh, class link, it's fixed. It's fixed, I promise. So log into class link, and then you click on, you log into that with your username and your password, which is the same as everything, your lunch number. And then it's, you're gonna see this little sign for Canvas, and that's what you're gonna log into for Canvas. We're gonna make sure you can log into that on our one-on-ones later this week. That's all you have to do in the mornings before 9.30. The Zoom link will be posted in Canvas and that's how you join your uh, whole group lessons and your small group lessons. So um, we're not gonna have to go to 50 different programs. Everything will be through Canvas. You click on a link and then boom, cross your fingers, it will take you to where you need to go. So we're excited about that. We hope that it works. Um, as with everything, I'm sure there'll be a little learning curve, but we are here to get each other through it. Um, so you will go class link, Canvas, Zoom, and we will help you with those logins. We'll probably even make a little screen cast by video and so that you can go back to it over and over again. But you want to make sure that you can log into the class link in Canvas before Monday at 930. So do a little dry run sometime, maybe this weekend, and make sure that you can get in there. And then if you can't, um, email your teacher or Ms. Gabby. All right? All right. Is Miss Heather still around to talk about technology? Yes, I am. I'm holding technology. Um, okay, uh, so um, because it's virtual learning, of course, there are always technology questions and challenges. Um, there will be trainings provided by the district. Um, those are coming soon. Some of them are already up on the technology website for SAISD, but there'll be more. Um, and this uh, is the new uh, learning system we're using. Um, that logs in really simply through ClassLink. When your student signs in, it won't be a separate app. When your student signs into single sign in, uh, starting Wednesday, um, you should be able to either see the Canvas icon or once they've signed in to Canvas to uh, single sign on ClassLink automatically. Um, let the, log them into Canvas as well. So that's really nice. It talks super well to ClassLink. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, but if you have technology problems, um, either something's not connecting or there's something broken on your device or whatever the problem is, we've added um, live ALA tech help hours. Those will be on the schedules that the, uh, for the, um, on the big school schedules, but um, I'm also going to hold some live tech help hours this week at a different time. These will be from 10 a.m. to noon on, um, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week. The Zoom code for that room is right here, so you may want to jot that down. The password's tech. You can also email me that I email back pretty quickly. And um, if all else fails, you can also call the district help desk. Um, this phone number right here, they have significantly improved their response times and there are some folks over there who can um, help work you through some problems especially in my ability um, so this is kind of your guideline of where you get help if you get stuck the live ala tech help hours that will happen during the school day will also be available for kids who need help because they'll be able to just pop into that zoom room and i can talk them through it as well 
sometimes they do a better job of troubleshooting than um, we do. So it's helpful for them to have these also. So those hours will be in the mornings um, every day. They're on the, the school schedule also. So Canvas will be available starting um, Wednesday. Uh, that is true, but some people are devices from last year. And so if you're waiting to have a device, you'll say that's okay. I'm gonna be online all next week morning. But it, for people who maybe wanted some advanced help because they already have a device or they have a question that they don't think of until after this presentation, I will be in the Zoom room tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday to do that. Um, and Friday, I won't be in the Zoom room because I'll be helping pass out technology. Uh, this is some of the pieces that the district is providing for parents and student support. You'll get this bigger presentation that also has links to um, tutorials, video and written tutorials and guides that are part of the Canvas suite. So I just wanted to show you that these things existed. So there's all kinds, sometimes overwhelming amounts of help out there. Um, if you need to do that on your own, but also those office hours so you can pop in, ask a quick, quick question and pop back out. So you can skip past, yeah, there you go. Okay, um, so in the emails that were sent, there were some Google Forms linked there. And um, thank you to all the village families that have been able to access these forms and completed them for us. If you haven't been able to, in the next few slides, we've posted QR codes for everything that needs to be signed up by parents. Um, the first one we linked to the email was a sign up for one-on-one -on -one Meet the Teacher with your student's teacher. Um, they are grade level specific QR codes. You'll just see them on the next slide. Miss Allison, can we move on to the next one, please? Thank you. Um, so here are the QR codes for Meet the Teacher one-on-one -on -one sign up. They'll also be linked to the presentation. If you can't access them right now, you can do it later. <clears throat> the second thing we had linked was a technology survey. If you are in need of technology for your, for your child, there's a survey a link over here with the QR code um, to request technology that you can pick up on Friday as well. And then the last one was the student declaration form. Um, if you are wanting to continue with virtual learning or you're wanting to send your child for in-person, if you can let us know, we'll be able to plan ahead of time for that. So these are the QR codes for the forms that were linked. Um, and like Ms. Wally said, there should have been a link to our presentation in the chat, um, but if not, we can also email it out. Um, so in case you run into any issues, these are the people who you can contact um, and their email address is here. So that's all we have for you. Um, it's been really great to see all of you. Um, we are going to work to answer any questions that we weren't able to get to in the chat. Um, and then if you have anything else that's more urgent, please make sure to reach out to us th through email and we'll try to get to you as soon as we can. Thank you families. It's so good to see you. Reach out if you need anything. We love you and we miss you. We'll see you Friday. Absolutely, and if you were counting along for those alligators, you should have gotten eight, but there was a sneaky one on the playground. So if you got seven, it's there. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Village B. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye June. Bye, Bye Miss Dolan. Bye, Miss Dolan. <laughs> Hi, Jude. Hi, Mika. Bye, Mika. Bye, Mika. Bye, guys. Say hi to everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Adon. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye, Lily.